Because I'm an American. As everyone knows, that means three things. One, I love freedom. Two, I like to grill. And three, I fucking hate the Middle East. But, I decided uh, I might as well look up this socialism thing that Fox News always tell me about. I may have only a third grade rating level, but I reckon I can understand it. Right. Type in Wikipedia, look up socialism. Let's see. Socialism is a physical, political, social, and economic philosophy encompassing a range of economic and social systems characterized by social ownership and the means of production. Social ownership can be public, collective, cooperative, or of equity. Well, no single definition encapsulates the many types of socialism. Social ownership is the one common element. All right. So, as I understand it, uh, I actually can relate this a little bit back to the political theory course I took in third grade. Uh, I was an advanced student in some respects. Yeah, so basically, private property ownership is when some big honcho makes money off of the sweat of your back. So when I'm herding cattle, for example, or herding stallions, or herding bucks, or other livestock, often the boss man will make money from selling said stock, said steaks to New York City slickers and make almost 20 whole dollars off of a herd. I get but a penny. That's sort of private ownership, I think. It's when the people who own the means of production, so like the herds of cattle, or the fields in which the cattle graze are not the people who rustle them. That's the main issue. It's not very American, if you ask me. So, I'm generally against private ownership. And this is opposed to that. It means something called social ownership. What I recall from social ownership is that what that essentially means is the people who rustle the cattle take the money from the people who eat the cattle, eat the steaks and burgers, or alive. I don't really care about the cattle. They can eat them however they want. Uh, but the point is, is I would rather pocket the money, right? I wrestle a whole herd with only five men, mostly people from out of California way. And, uh, yeah, we can do it with just us. One fortnight, get them all the way from Dallas to Fort Lewis. And, uh, not a big deal. No, sir. And then, the herd gets sold. 20 30 sometimes even $40. A lot of money. A lot more than the single penny I usually get. Now, I split that five ways. It's $4 a person, or, uh... Maybe five or six, I don't know. The point I'm trying to make is that that's definitely a lot more than one penny. And I would be for that. What kind of moron wouldn't be? Tarnation. All right. I'm afraid in order to explain this more fully, I have to drop the accent because I'm bad at it, amongst other things. But, uh, yeehaw. Right. Okay. Look. The point I'm trying to make, through the horrible southern accent, I apologize to any southern comrades, by the way, is that, essentially, socialism is rather poorly defined in American discourse. Most people, when they use the term socialism, don't use it correctly. And I'm not just trying to be your average internet nerd and be like, mm, actually, technically, the definition is X, Y, Z. No, here it's important because it's referring to a specific academic idea. And the fact that it's misrepresented, I think, is a core piece 
to how it has been abused in the past and why it is not more popular now. Socialism is just that. It's the social ownership of the means of production, as opposed to private ownership. Almost all means of production are social, socially worked, that is. You can't run a factory floor alone. You can't hill a bunch of fields alone. You can't rustle a bunch of cattle alone, tarnation, etc. Um, you can't do anything alone. No man's an island, generally. There are things you can do entirely independently, like art. And that's sort of a separate issue. Uh, but the main thing is, the main job for the vast majority of people is one of those more traditional jobs where you really do need to work with a team to get things done. And in such jobs, it's very much the norm under our privatized capitalist system for someone who is not the workers to make most of the money off of the things the workers do. So the service they provide, the products they produce, the food they create, pretty much anything. Uh, tends to not go towards the people who work towards it. I would not call that a meritocracy. I would say, in fact, that that's obviously painfully unfair. Um, that system is called private ownership, where private parties own the means of production. Social ownership is when a social group, usually the, the workers, own the means of production. The reason that's important is because it's the workers that make the means of production go. Like, you can be a fantastic CEO of an Arby's chain, but unless you have people flipping burgers, you're not going to make any money at all. doesn't matter how skilled of a CEO you are. Now, the workers can't flip burgers without the property or the grills or the maybe even the brand of Arby's. But... Those are only really issues because land is commodified and it often requires a pretty big startup price to start a franchise or a corporation for that matter. And often the only people who can front those prices are people who are already wealthy. Um, as a result, often those means of production are not socially owned uh, when they start up and they stay capitalist-owned, um, also partially because of banks not loaning, uh, giving out loans to cooperatives. Um, there are a variety of reasons, but the capitalist system of private ownership is quite entrenched in America. It's also in America where the term socialism is probably the most misused. This is just anecdotal, but I, I, I think most people in other countries at least have a better understanding of what the word means than in discussions in America. And I don't think that's a coincidence. It might not be intentional or malicious, although it might be as well. Um, I think a lot of very wealthy, very influential people have a lot of money riding on people not realizing what the actual definition of socialism is. That definition that I got in 10 seconds by looking it up on Wikipedia is threatening enough to destroy the entire economic fabric of the world as it is. And it's an economic fabric that is actively harming the planet, potentially even destroying all animal life on Earth within the next hundred some years, and also as results in most people living in poverty. So I would say said economic system probably ought to be destroyed in favor of something like socialism. I think if more people simply knew what the word socialism meant, we would not be waiting for a revolution. We would have one. Fucking cake.